What is up, my brothers from another mother? Literally just finished a two hour long Skype call with author Alan Roger Curry. A little bit of background. I was introduced to him at the 21 convention and I also read his book, Mode One, which talks about the four different modes of communication from highly effective to highly ineffective when it comes to expressing your desires, interests, and attentions to women. Some call him a dating coach. I'd say he's more of a communications expert. He just applies it more to the dating scope. So you're gonna get a lot of uh, cold hard truth bombs and golden nuggets in these segments that are gonna be coming out over the next coming weeks. I will say this, um, I'm going to leave quite a bit of this material behind the Patreon paywall. Some of it is quite premium, one and two. There's some discussion and language uh, used and it's not that politically correct. So I'm gonna leave it behind there so we don't offend any snowflakes. What I will say is if you guys wanna access the Patreon content, the links below uh, go ahead and support over there you'll be able to access all of these pieces and every prior piece that i've put out as well which includes q a segments and deeper topic discussion sometimes 45 minutes to an hour long on things like how i've been improving my testosterone levels at the age of 44. i will also say alan roger curry fantastic talk thank you very much your links are all below you guys should go and probe his material take a look at his youtube channel and i really really hope that you guys enjoy these segments and you also consider supporting the creation of this work Thanks. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Okay. So Alan, got this question here from another Patreon that wanted to know what the biggest obstacle is that you see in guys when they're trying to go direct for the first time. So mode one. Oh, that's easy. Um, overcoming the fear of rejection. That would be number one. Most guys plain and simply are, are afraid of rejection. And whereas I'm not, I don't like rejection, but it's just like there was this, this great Michael Jordan commercial where he talks about all the things he did wrong, like missed game-winning shots and fouled out of a game. And at the end, he says, I failed over and over and over again, and that's why I succeed. And that's the attitude I have about rejection. A lot of guys think that guys who are really successful women are guys who very rarely have ever experienced rejection, where I find over half the time it's just the opposite. Guys who are successful women have probably experienced way more rejection than the guys who have a less than average successful woman because they aren't afraid to take action. I'm not afraid to take action. Again, I don't like rejection, but I'm not afraid of it. Right. So that so that brings me to the notion that um, it's it's actually a lot easier for guys to get over rejection when there's no investment. I mean, if you've been with somebody for a couple of years, it's hard. You know, that kind of rejection is the kind of shit that keeps guys up at night. They can't focus versus they go up to a pretty girl at the you know, the grocery store and say, hey, you know, hey, how's it going sort of thing, right? Or do what you do in the grocery store. <laughs> and you guys got to read his book to find out what he does in grocery stores. It's in mode one. So grab a copy. Link below.